Chomo News presents the Solar System. It's going to be hell on Earth. Astronomers predict that all life on Earth will be wiped out in the future as the sun balloons in size and scorches the planet. Using the world's most powerful radio telescope, scientists forecast that within five billion years, the sun will grow into a red giant star, 100 times its current size. The sun will swallow up and destroy its two closest planets, Mercury and Venus. All life on Earth is likely to be destroyed, but there is a possibility the rocky core of the planet could survive. In seven billion years, the sun will then experience intense loss of mass due to strong stellar winds that will see it evolve into a tiny white dwarf star. If the Earth's rocky core survives, it may continue to orbit the white dwarf star. The white dwarf star will be similar to Earth in size, but much heavier. One teaspoon of its matter will weigh about five tons. The astronomers' conclusions are based on examining an evolved star 208 light years away from Earth, which five billion years ago was very similar to our Sun. The scientists say an object orbiting that evolved star is likely to be a planet, and further study could offer unique insights into Earth's eventual fate. Diamonds big enough to be worn by Hollywood film stars could be raining down on Saturn and Jupiter. Methane gas is found in the atmosphere of the solar system's two biggest planets. It all begins in the upper atmosphere where lightning turns methane into soot in the thunderstorm alleys. As the soot falls, the pressure on it increases. After about 1600 kilometers, it turns to graphite. The graphite hardens into diamonds as it continues to fall for another 30,000 kilometers. The pressure and temperature are hellish. These diamonds eventually melt into a liquid sea in the planet's hot cores. Maybe this will give De Beers the opportunity to send missions to Saturn to go find diamonds. Mercury about to make a rare appearance across the Sun's face. Our solar system's smallest planet will be visible on Monday as it passes between Earth and the Sun, a rare spectacle that only occurs a few times a century. While the Earth takes 365 days to orbit the Sun, Mercury only takes 88 days to make the journey. Skywatchers worldwide will be able to witness part of this voyage on Monday. Mercury passes between Earth and the Sun three times a year, about every four months. However, Mercury's tilted orbit prevents us normally seeing this journey. As Mercury's orbit is inclined seven degrees to the plane of Earth's orbit, it's rare for the three bodies to line up so that Mercury is in our direct line of sight to the Sun. In fact, this only occurs 13 to 14 times a century. The next time we'll be able to view Mercury's transit will be in 2019 and 2032. Mercury, which is about three times smaller than Earth, will be just one of 158th the width of the Sun's disk. So its movement across the Sun is only visible with high-powered lenses. Mercury will take about seven and a half hours to move across the Sun, beginning from 7.12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time until around 2.42 p.m. An interesting phenomenon that can be observed is the black drop effect, which occurs when Mercury's edge forms a teardrop shape as it touches the Sun's edge. Mercury's flit across the Sun will be visible through much of Western Europe, Northwestern Africa, and the Americas, while other areas of the world may see part of the transit. Jupiter's iconic spot is turning up the heat. Mankind is beginning to unravel the mysteries of our solar system's biggest planet, starting with its atmosphere. Jupiter's atmosphere has roughly the same temperature as that of Earth, despite being five times farther away from the Sun. Dubbed the planet's energy crisis, this detail has long puzzled scientists until now. The explanation for the gas giant's superheated atmosphere lies in its great red spot, which is a massive 10,000-mile-wide hurricane with 400-mile-per-hour winds that has been raging for centuries. Jupiter's atmospheric temperatures are around 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit, but the area directly above the great red spot is hundreds of degrees hotter. This suggests a link between the planet's upper and lower atmospheres, despite being separated by a vertical distance of 500 miles. The heat is likely caused by high-energy acoustic waves shooting up from the storm. The waves cause atoms in the air to move around, raising the temperature. NASA expects to gather more information from the Juno spacecraft, which is now in orbit around Jupiter. Now that scientists have discovered why the atmosphere is so hot, maybe they can also figure out why the spot is red. 
New image of Saturn shows rings bending. NASA has revealed that the most recent images obtained by the Cassini spacecraft shows Saturn's rings slightly bending around the planet. But this is just an optical illusion. Researchers have learned through the Cassini mission to the planet that Saturn's rings are made of microscopic particles which brighten significantly when the sun is almost directly behind them. A lot of the light reflected off the rings are absorbed by the planet's atmosphere. When the rest of the light passes through, the atmosphere acts like a lens and bends the light, thus making it look like Saturn's rings are melting. Pretty cool, but it's all just an illusion. Scientists may have found Planet 10. U.S. scientists have found evidence supporting the unseen Planet 10, which is much closer than the previously reported Planet 9, a planet that has not yet fully been proven to exist. The Kuiper Belt is a disk-shaped region in outer space that contains icy bodies, space rocks, and dwarf planets such as Pluto. It is understood that Kuiper Belt objects orbit the Sun with an orbital tilt, but those some 50 astronomical units away from the Sun should not. However, researchers have discovered that a group of Kuiper Belt objects located between 50 to 80 astronomical units from the Sun are tilted away from the invariable plane by 8 degrees, suggesting a large object with sufficient gravitational influence is causing this warp. Experts believe the unseen object is possibly as massive as Mars and is roughly 60 astronomical units from the Sun on an orbit tilted by 8 degrees to the average plane of known planets. Planet 10 is theoretically much closer to Earth than Planet 9, the hypothetical planet discovered in 2016. Planet 9 is predicted to be the equivalent of about 10 Earth masses and located between 500 to 700 astronomical units from the Sun. Pluto may be home to ice-spewing volcanoes. A probe has found evidence of cryovolcanoes on Pluto's surface, suggesting the dwarf planet may not be as inactive as scientists originally thought. When NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto on July 14th, it scanned the planet's surface and has slowly been transmitting data back to Earth. The latest images show what appear to be two ice mountains, each with a depression on top, near the bottom of the planet's heart-shaped plane. The volcanoes, informally called Wright Mons and Picard Mons, are about 100 miles across and 2 and 3.5 miles high, respectively. Unlike Earth volcanoes that eject lava, the structures on Pluto would likely release an icy slush containing nitrogen, ammonia and methane. Geological activity on the planet's surface indicates an internal heat source, possibly radioactive elements in its core. With only 20% of New Horizons data downlinked to Earth, scientists need to wait for the remaining pictures and data from the July encounter to confirm cryovolcanism on the dwarf planet. NASA's New Horizon mission reveals how weird and unique Pluto really is. Pluto, the small icy celestial body at the back of the solar system, was downgraded from a regular planet to a dwarf planet in 2006. It has been known as just that for years, the planet that never was. But NASA's New Horizons mission, launched in the same year that Pluto was ripped of its planetary title, performed the first flyby study of Pluto and revealed that the dwarf planet's surface is surprisingly complex and unique. Pluto's surface differs from place to place. Areas are dominated by ice made from methane in some places and nitrogen carbon monoxide or water in others. A heart-shaped region on Pluto known informally as Tombow Regio is made up of ice containing mostly nitrogen. Within the heart, there's a frozen plain scientists dubbed Sputnik Planum, a smooth icy terrain made up of polygon-shaped hills divided by troughs. Parts of Pluto's surface also contain many craters, suggesting that the surface was once geologically active. The flat landscape of the plains are interrupted by the towering peaks of two of Pluto's ice volcanoes, the 2.5-mile-high Wright Mons and the nearby Picard Mons. Pluto also has a dark region. It's dark because the surface is covered by tholins, which is the byproduct of atmospheric nitrogen and methane interacting with ultraviolet light. These observations and many others made during the New Horizons mission were published online Thursday in the journal Science, shedding new light on the remote dwarf planet. Details emerge about the mysterious Planet 9. Although no one's actually seen the planet that supposedly lurks in the outer solar system, planetary scientists at the California Institute of Technology presented evidence for Planet 9's existence in January. As a spacecraft orbiting Saturn recently returned with even more observations that support Planet 9's existence, 
evidence seems to be mounting that a mystery planet truly does dwell out there. Scientists first predicted the possibility of Planet 9 after noticing dwarf planets in our solar system's Kuiper Belt had orbits that clustered toward the same direction. This strange alignment is best explained by a sizable object whose gravity tugs the dwarf planets into place. Its orbit is larger than orbits of other celestial bodies that we're more familiar with, completing a full orbit around the Sun every 20,000 years. To achieve the observed gravitational effect, Planet 9's diameter is probably around four times the size of Earth's. Its mass is approximately ten times the Earth's mass. Scientists speculate that the planet is probably an ice giant similar in composition to Neptune and Uranus. Planet 9 appears to be nearer than scientists originally thought. It could come to as close as 200 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, or 200 astronomical units. Scientists also predict that Planet 9's gravity may force additional objects in the Kuiper Belt into orbits perpendicular to its own. If the planet does prove to really exist, then we could reach it in as few as 20 years. Until then, the hunt continues for the evasive icy planet. Some scientists are now hoping to find it with the world's largest telescopes. China's Concept Martian Forest City Matt Damon sure could have used one of these concept Mars homes in 2015's The Martian. The concept from the Chinese Space Agency, Tongji University, and Stefano Boeri Architects would see a spaceship ferry a colony of massive pods containing forest cities from Earth toward Mars. Once the pods have touched down on the red planet, in Habitat reports they would use ecosystemic seeds to take root. This colony of forest city giant pods, dubbed New Shanghai, would also reportedly contain an infrastructure and an Earth-like atmosphere. Would you like to live in New Shanghai? NASA discovers Mercury is both shaking and shrinking. Mercury. It's the closest planet to the Sun and has long remained an enigma to researchers until just a few years ago. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system, and new research from NASA suggests it might be getting smaller, as the space agency found that the planet is warm, tectonically active, and shrinking. Prior to crashing on Mercury, NASA's Messenger spacecraft photographed the planet's surface for 18 months. It found long cliffs, called scarps, which suggest Mercury may experience seismic activity. The researchers expect the seismic activity on Mercury to be similar to Earth's moon. According to Space.com, the planet is still hot enough to keep contracting and have a molten outer core. That same core has helped sustain Mercury's magnetic field for billions of years. Perhaps the biggest takeaway from the research is that Mercury now joins Earth as the solar system's other tectonically active planet. What's hiding on the dark side of Venus? For the first time ever, scientists are studying Venus's mysterious night side and have found that it's vastly different from its day side. It takes Venus 225 days to revolve around the Sun and 243 days to fully rotate on its axis. As a result, night and day on the planet last longer than on Earth. So far, the day side has been studied extensively, but the night side has been notoriously difficult to observe until now. Venus's atmosphere consists of strong winds blowing 60 times faster than the planet's rotation. This super-rotation has been assumed to be uniform in both sides, but new data shows the winds are more chaotic and irregular on the night side. Night side clouds formed large, wavy, filament-like patterns, not seen in day clouds, and are dominated by stationary waves, which remain still and do not move with the atmosphere. Stationary waves are thought to form specifically over steep, mountainous areas, but were recently detected in the planet's southern hemisphere, an area with low elevation. The waves were likewise assumed to be rising up through the cloud from the surface, but were mysteriously missing from the lower and intermediate cloud levels. Scientists have yet to explore what this means, but will likely need to come up with new, updated models of Venus to help them figure it out. A US astronomer has discovered a new moon around Neptune. Neptune is the outermost gas giant in our solar system, nearly 4.5 billion kilometers from the Sun. The new discovery currently known as S2004N1, is Neptune's 14th known moon. The discovery was made after the astronomer obtained a circular orbit of the new moon through tracking the archival Neptune photographs taken by Hubble Space Telescope. The moon appears to be the smallest moon in the Neptunian system, with a diameter of only 20 kilometers. 
The moon had gone unnoticed when NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft flew past the Neptunian system in 1989. 